In this video, we will discuss the repeatable instruments and events feature in REDCap. We previously discussed the longitudinal design feature, which allows you to use data collection instruments in a finite number of defined events in a project, such as at baseline and a follow-up visit. However, you may have created instruments that can be completed an unlimited number of times for each record. For example, say you have an adverse events form that is to be completed for any and all adverse events reported for each participant in a clinical trial. Or you might be conducting a study enrolling child patients that involves follow-up visits every 12 months until a child turns 18. In cases like these, you can employ the repeatable instruments and events feature, which allows for instruments to be completed an infinite number of times for each record in a project. To enable the repeating instruments and events feature, navigate to the project setup page and under optional modules and customizations, click to enable the repeatable instruments feature. In classic projects, which do not have the longitudinal module enabled, you can simply select which forms should be repeatable. For example, let's say for this project, the first three forms are completed once at enrollment and the adverse events form is completed any time an adverse event is reported for a participant. In this case, we would simply select the adverse events form to be repeatable. When you navigate to a record, you will see that after the first instance of a repeatable form has been entered and saved, you will be able to click to add additional instances of that form. Each instance that is entered and saved will have its own instance number. If a project has the longitudinal design feature enabled, you can make instruments repeatable in any desired event. When enabling the repeatable instruments and events feature in this project, for example, I can specify that I want the adverse events form to be repeatable in this specific event. You can also make entire events repeatable. For example, say you're conducting a study enrolling children who must complete a follow-up visit every six months until the age of 18. If at each of these follow-up visits, both of these forms must be completed, I can make this entire event repeatable. On the project setup page, I can specify that the entire event should be repeated. When entering data, I can click this button to add a new instance of this event, and all of the event's instruments will repeat together and stay connected. This is helpful because we can ensure that the instance number of each form in this event corresponds to the same visit. Here are some tips to consider. Data captured in repeatable instruments and events are exported in long format with one row for each instance of a form or repeatable event for a record. The repeatable instrument feature is better suited for forms and compatibility with surveys is limited. However, if you would like to allow participants to submit multiple instances of a survey, you must make the survey enabled instrument repeatable in the project setup page, then navigate to the survey settings for that instrument and enable the feature allowing respondents to repeat the survey. When the repeat survey setting is enabled, it will display a button at the end of the survey that will allow the respondent to take the survey multiple times in a row. In this way, they will be able to enter as many responses for that same survey as they need. 